What's up, YouTube? It's Zander's TCG here, and welcome to another TCG battle video on my channel. Today, we're gonna be playing with Dark Box. This is probably one of the best contenders for worlds, uh, except for also the uh, main known decks like Picaram, Blounce, uh, then also Reshizar and all that good stuff. But today, we're gonna check out uh, Dark Box because I do think it does have potential. Sometimes it does break a little bit, but if you can get your setup, this can probably be the best deck uh, if you can just uh, manage to get everything out. We have, of course, uh, the Nagadadel to get energies on the field together with. Dark Rye Prism Star to get those energies flowing on the board. We have, of course, Weave Out with the Shadow Connection from, of course, the Unified Mindset, which can just move around all those Darkness energies. And then we have our big hitters. We have Dark Rye and Umbreon Dark, uh, Dark Rye. Yeah, Umbreon Dark Rye GX here with Black Lands 150 on the active and 60 on one of the bench GXs. And then uh, also Dark Moon GX uh, stops the opponent from playing any trainer cards. And if we have five additional uh, Darkness energies, we can one shot anything we possibly want, just uh, KO the active of the opponent. And then uh, there's also Mewtwo Mew in here just for type coverage and then, then of course our uh, Tyranitar and uh, Mega Sableye uh, Tag Team GX here with Greedy Crush. If we knock something out, we get an additional prize card if it's a GX. So uh, if we knock out a Dedenne, bam, three prize cards. That's how fantastic it is. If we knock out a Tag Teams, bam, four prize cards. And then uh, we also have Giga Fall GX which helps against the Shedinja matchup because we can discard the top 15 cards of the opponent's deck if we have 10 energies attached. But all, not only that, we also dish out uh, 250 damage if we just have 5 energies equipped it so uh, to just get our setup rolling we have of course mysterious treasure to get our purple up and rolling we have communication to get everything we want and then cherish ball for the G axis cherish ball is nice because uh, we uh, can either get dark Ryan Umbreon early game and just move around uh, our active with a uh, dark city if we have a uh, an active sneasel we can just move around and then uh, get dark Ryan Umbreon in the active position to use dark moon to get an additional turn because the opponent will not be able to play any of their uh, trainer cards there's also custom catcher in here you, some people are debating, do I play Super Scoop Up, do I play Custom Catcher? I do think Custom Catcher is uh, sometimes a little bit better because Super Scoop Up can be unreliable. So uh, that's that. And uh, Custom Catcher can get your specific target if you want to knock something out on the, the opponent's bench. And uh, there's also a Reset Stamp to just uh, overcome a game where you just uh, have a slow setup. You use, re use Reset Stamp, the opponent gets to a low hand size and sometimes they will not be able to keep up. For uh, Stadium Cards, we also have a Black Market, uh, preventing the opponent from taking an additional prize card if they knock out a Darkness Pokemon, that means if they knock out a Sheasel, zero prize cards. If they knock out a Darkness GX, they get only one prize card. And if they knock out a Tag Team Darkrai, uh, an Umbreon, or a Mega Sableye and Tyranitar GX, they only get two prize cards. So Black Market can also help in the prize race. One Viridian to just get, of course, your Darkness energies in the discard pile. There's also a Sightseer to do that. And uh, of course, uh, there's Acrobac, which we also play here. Otherwise, it's going to be other, uh, very difficult to get those uh, Darkness energies in the discard pile. Except for maybe sometimes uh, retreating your Sneasel manually, it also happens. Then one Nanu. Nanu is uh, something I've seen in testing that it works very well. Sometimes there's a, a tag team GX with a lot of damage on it. And you don't, oh no, I'm going to lose if they have Custom Catcher. Well, you use Nanu, swap that tag team into like a Sneasel. And then uh, they get a prize card, but then all the damage is gone. That means uh, in prize race wise, you're doing fine. Nanu is a perfect play to also get, of course, a Sneasel in play and evolve it immediately. So I do love the inclusion of one. Then four, uh, Cynthian for Lily to uh, yeah make the deck complete. There's uh, the Danny in here also to get those Darkness energies in the discard pile. So I do think that if you're running Super Scoop Up, you mostly get your Danny off the field. So uh, sometimes the opponent will struggle to knock out all your big uh, Dark Tag Team Jaxes. So Super Scoop Up or Custom Catcher, the choice is yours. Okay, today we're going to be uh, playing on a Versus Ladder. Hopefully uh, some people are preparing for Worlds and not playing any pre rotation decks because I uh, want to be seeing how Darkbox does in the post rotation format. Let me know in the comment section what you think will win the world championship. We already covered a lot of top decks uh, on the channel at the moment. And uh, I do believe Dark Box does have uh, some decent matchups since, of course, a lot of fighting Pokemon uh, got uh, dropped off the radar. I do think uh, we're facing like Dark. Maybe it's Dark Box itself. I did, did see some Darkness Pokemon in here. Lightning, Psychic, I wonder what this is, maybe it is a mirror match, which would be fantastic because that way we can definitely showcase how the deck functions. Or it could be a Zorak version and uh, yeah, it's pre-rotation so hopefully we don't see that. We do see World Sleeve so let us uh, get our hopes up to just see a post-rotation deck. We start with Poipol, probably one of the best starts we have. Uh, definitely if we go first because we can attach to the Poipol, retreat, get an energy in the discard pile and it's fantastic. Okay, this is a mirror match. That is actually not bad. First things first, I'm going to go for a Cherish Ball. 
and I'm going to grab my uh, Dark Red Umbreon because I want to be using that as early as possible. We also have our uh, Mega Sableye and Tyranitar GX in our deck, which is nice. There's Ditto, there's uh, two Nagadal, which is awesome, and then uh, two Weeva. We definitely want our Sneasel on board. One custom caster seems to be priced, and uh, that's that. I wonder which build it is. If it has the super scoop ups, we might be in a disadvantage, but we'll have to wait and see how it turns out. We can already use Acrobike here if it's an energy here. Okay, we have the Sneasel, which is awesome. It's too bad that we have to get rid of uh, one Dark Ryan Umbreon, but we do have Mewtwo to just uh, make up for that. Uh, yeah, we're not gonna bench that Dark Ride just yet. I'm just gonna get that energy in the discard pile by retreating manually and uh, I'm just gonna say here we go with a Cynthia If we draw into a communication and two energies, we can also get Dark Ride on board. Okay, another Poipol, which is awesome We also have Mysterious Treasure which can tin out our hand But I'm gonna wait with Mysterious Treasure until um, Yeah we can use Spit Poison. I don't think they will be able to do anything, so we can retreat and attach manually next time. They might knock out a Poipol if they want to, but I don't think this deck is just that fast. Just gonna leave it like this. I think that's good. We can add next turn, manually retreat, get Dark Ride Umbreon in the active position, get a Naganadel, and uh, the only thing we'll need here is from a Lily, uh, is a Weavile. That would be amazing to use. Because we have an attachment of the turn, we have Nagadadel to get our energy back that we retreat. Uh, maybe another Nagadadel would be fine. There's still one in there. Maybe we draw into communication. So Dark Box versus Dark Box is definitely a way to uh, showcase the deck's potential. I wonder uh, which version they're playing. There, we do see Cherish Ball, which uh, does indicate that the opponent is also in a post-rotation format playing. So that is awesome. So Dark Rye against Dark Rye. Communication, what do we see? If they play the Dene, we might have an edge because we do have Black Lance which snipes 60 on the bench. That means that the Dene will only have 100 HP and uh, things like uh, Weavel can also one-shot that. With uh, they do, It does have an attack with 130 damage. There's a Ditto in here. We've only played a couple of cards yet and uh, we do see, wow, a huge Lily. I wonder if they will be able to get out everything as themselves. If they don't have Night City or Dark City, yeah, Dark City probably in uh, the English translation, they won't get our, uh, their Dark Try in the active position, which is awesome. So we have the advantage here. We have Dark City. We're not going to bench that down. We have Nanu, which you can use to get another Dark Try in play. And we don't have an energy in the discard just yet. Okay. What to do? First things first, I'll be getting rid of probably the dark city don't want to help him out too much so let's get rid of it and uh, we want to get out our Nagadadel we also have Mew to Mew so hopefully things will turn out okay uh, we have the attachment of the turn we have the retreat so that will be Lily for four so hopefully things will turn out alright the only thing we'll need is a Nagadadel we can also use custom catcher here I'm uh, gonna leave the custom catchers, they will help us in the long run. Okay, we have uh, communication and we have acrobike. We can get another Naganadel into play, but we need uh, a darkness energy in the discard pile. So hopefully, oh, another acrobike, like that. We can also get out the Denny here. Now we can still do that later, but still want to check here. Okay, we have a darkness energy. We can put it in the discard pile and get our Naganadel up and rolling. But the bad thing is that we don't have the Weavile yet. Let's see here. Do we use an insane Dedenny GX? Yeah, let's get that darkness energy in the discard pile. We can still use the charging up ability to get it back. And uh, I think I'm just going to go for a heavy the Denny GX. Because I want to get out all my stuff here and get the advantage. We need to get as, as many stuff on board as, as we possibly can. I know there's one custom catcher price. It is unfortunate, but we definitely want to get our Denny up so we can get our setup. Okay, we have the Weavile. So now we can start moving around the energies. We even have the Cherish Ball again to get whatever we want. The Mega Sable and Tyranitar seems to be the logical option. 
I, we even have the sights here for next turn, but the bad thing is we could give some damage onto this Mega Sable and Tyranitar, or we can retreat and use that Black Lance. Maybe that's the best plan of action. We retreat, use that charging up ability, get it onto the Nagadel. We're not gonna move it around just yet. Also not gonna bench down Mega Sable and Tarantar. We're gonna wait with that. We can move around the energies, but we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna go for a Dark Moon GX. Could have also waited and one shot at this guy with, of course, the GX move of uh, Umbreon and Darka. But if they cannot play their trainer cards, Hopefully they will not get their setup. Okay, that's what I thought. No trainer cards for the opponent. And now we have something amazing going around for us. We can use Dark Ryan Umbreon. And we already used that. So 150. First things first. And energy of the turn. Next up, the charging up ability. We can get more energies into play if we want. But I definitely want to be using that Mega Sable and Tarantar soon. So... Uh, yeah, we have enough energy. We to, we could have one shot at this, but uh, it was better to use that GX move early game. So I'm just gonna bench this guy, and I don't think we'll be needing all these energies anymore. I don't think he'll be able to one shot us without the setup. So how many energies in the discard pile? Zero. Might as well get everything on board in the discard pile. We don't need uh, Dark Rider Prism Star because we're having the edge here. Custom Catcher and reset stamp. Oof. Dark City is interesting. Let's get rid of the Ditto Prism Star. He might go after our Pokemon, but let's go after the Nagnadel to get energies on board. We have Dark City. We can even use uh, the uh, attack here, Greedy Crush, but it's going to be for next turn. For now, let's get all the energies onto our Pokemon. There we have them. And also, we're going to use the uh, Shadow Connect to get one energy on our Umbreon and Darkrai. Yeah, I think that's fine. And with this, we activate the Black Lance for 150 damage. We only have one uh, Custom Catcher. If we had two, we could have already uh, attacked that Sneasel. Now he can use Trainer cards. But we do have the advantage. We have the Dark City, which we can abuse, which means we can retreat and get uh, four prize cards. Okay, there is the Super Scoop Up version, and it does succeed. So that means our Dark Moon GX was a little bit uh, disruptive here. But that means with uh, Greedy Crush, we can also one shot this uh, Umbreon and Dark Rise, since we already sniped 60 damage on the bench as well. So uh, he wonders if we can get, of course, the attack rolling. We definitely will get the attack rolling with Greedy Crush and get four prize cards if we can manage to knock out this Umbreon and Darkrai. The good news is that we didn't uh, smack down that Dark City to help him out in his favor. So we should be taking the advantage here. Oh boy. Dark Box versus Dark Box. We have the Custom Catcher version and we do have the Super Scoop Up version. The good news is, news is if uh, they are playing the Super Scoop Up, they don't have Custom Catcher, which means our Dedenne is safe. And uh, I do like, love the fact of that because Greedy Crush on a Dedenne is always like a, lo a loss condition. Okay, will he get his Weevil up? Okay, this is almost the exact setup. So uh, Nagaradel is the way to go with Dark Box. Okay, that is fantastic. So first things first, we have five energies in total. We have the Free Retreat. Basic Darkness Pokemon have Free Retreat. We don't want to be using that Viridian, just get smack down this Dark City. And we are just going to get a full Cynthia up and rolling. Bam! Okay, we have communication, we can use that, so uh, we're definitely going to get one energy over here. We are going to retreat. Don't want to be using the dark Black Lands once again, we're just going to get an extra prize card. We're going to get uh, all these abilities up and rolling, charging up energy to Naganadel. So all of our Pokemon get a lot of energies. Next up, we are going to use the Shadow Connection, moving all the energies around. I'm actually going to get uh, some energies around. Let's keep them from the Dark Ride. Let's get them from the Naganadel, most of them. Where? There we go. They might go after one of our tactics, but I definitely think they want to go after our... Yeah, after our Tyranitar and Darkrai. Or actually Tyranitar and Mega Sableye, so that's that. 
We have a communication which we can use. I'm just gonna wait. We might top deck whatever we want. So we have five energies in total. That means with Greedy Crush, bam, we will take four prize cards. And that's how this deck functions. I'm very glad to be able to showcase this deck and all its glory. De definitely against the mirror match. The good news is we have double custom catcher. So if they miraculously uh, have to need the Dene, wow, look at that, four prize cards. If we don't get reset stamp, we should be in a golden way to win this uh, game. Only two prize cards left. We have custom catchers. We have a reset stamp if they probably knock us out. They have five energies in total. Dark City is activated, so they can get their own. Okay, even more energies. If they get their Umbreon Dark Ride, they can use their GX move for Dark Moon GX to knock us out. Which could be very disruptive. Okay, this is very disruptive. A reset stamp. Bam! We got Black Market. That is something I don't want to be smacking down here. Although, prize raise wise, we should be fine if we knock out a tag team. We can also use Custom Catcher to draw some cards, but I don't think we'll need anything. Okay, they're promoting a Schneasel and they want us to take it out. So, no black market for us. I'm not gonna smack that down, otherwise, we don't get any prize cards if we knock out the Schneasel. Let's see here. One super scoop up. The scoop ups do annoy me a little bit. Okay, Cherish Ball. They could have one shot at us. What? One, two, three, four, five, six energies. They could have used Dark Moon for the KO. What are they doing? Oh, Super Scoop Up. It fails. Okay, the opponent is definitely doing something weird here. They could have one shot at our um, Mega Sable and Tyranitar with their GX move. They're moving all the energies to Mega Sable and Tyranitar. We have 18 cards left in the deck. Oh, wow. That can also be a lose condition. Only three more cards left. Definitely gonna be played safely from now on. I know what they're planning. Not gonna be playing any cards, although Custom Catcher could help. Our Terrain Tower will see the discard sooner or later. We could manually retreat and start swing damage with something else. Yeah, I think that's fine. Let's retreat. I know it's a heavy retreat, but we can get them back in two turns with Naganadel. Or actually, Dark City is still up. Wow, what am I saying? Shadow Connection. Nope. I want to be using the energies from the Mega Sableye and Tyranitar. And I'm also going to move these energies around to... Yeah, I think that's fine. As it is. He doesn't run Custom Catcher, so our Pokemon are safe. We could use Lily, but I'm afraid of that GX move of Mega Sable and Tyranitar. Hopefully next turn we can get, of course, our Custom Catcher up and rolling. So now we use Black Lands, get a KO, and we smack uh, some damage on the... This guy, 60 damage will not be enough, although we do have... Nah, 60 damage on this guy is not enough. We need our Custom Catcher for this operation. I don't think he'll be able to get uh, 10 energies in play, so I'm just gonna go after this tag team. Might as well do that. And we get... Bam! A Cherish Ball. Okay, the only thing that can one-shot out is that Darkrai, but it's damaged. And uh, we do have our Mega Sable ally and Tyranitar to finish up the game. Unless they Super Scoop Up hits. Oh, boy. Super Scoop Up is annoying. He can swap six energies around and get this in the axe position. But we only need one Barrel Prize card. We can just simply one-shot a uh, Nagnet Dell with our Custom Catcher. So the Custom Catcher version... Probably better in the mirror match, if I had to guess. So guys, hopefully you guys are enjoying the Dark Box versus Dark Box matchup. I'm so glad it's uh, post-rotation versus post-rotation, because on the versus ladder, you never know what's going on. And, uh, yeah. Dark Ride Umbreon. I do think that Darkness Pokemon, I finally have their uh, shine back after the way uh, Eveltal EX did back in the days. Dark uh, f completely fell off the radar with Boswell Jacks and Lycanroc Jacks, but now Darkness seems to be back on the top tables, which is awesome. Cherish Bell, are they gonna smack down at the Denny? Oh, it's what? Dragon Knight? Dragon Knight? What is this? Are they gonna use that with Mewtwo or something? I wonder. Even if they get it in the discard pile and start using Mewtwo, we have resistance, right? Yeah. 
communication. I love the inclusion of the, uh, the Dragon Knight to to use uh, Mewtwo's uh, ability to copy that. Okay, the Dene. We have one, two, three. One. He still hasn't used his GX move. He could use Dark Moon. While well, we cannot play any trainer cards and one shot us. But now he seems to go all the way for the Tyranitar build. Eight energies, nine energies. Re oh, resets them to one. Oof. We got one custom catcher. At least that's that. The bad news is we needed to win the game. And he seems to be not playing custom catcher of himself. So we can just simply promote a Naganadel, smack a little bit of damage and uh, leave it like that. Okay, retreat. He gets the energies. One, two, three, four, five. Black Lance, I presume. Wonder why he didn't use uh, the Dark Moon GX on our Tyranitar. I really wonder. What is he up to? Black Lance, bam! So, yeah, Tyranitar also got some damage. We don't have. Oh, we have another energy. Hmm, we need our trainer cards, we don't need any of that, so let's use Viridian Forest, gets rid of the energy. One energy. How many custom catchers in deck? Two. We need all of them. He might discard our entire deck. Do we wait until we draw it? We still have one in the hand, so the chances of us drawing one is really high. We smack damage, finish the job later. He's gonna come with Mega Sable and Tyranitar though. Only three energies, five energies in play. Hmm, what to do? Don't have free retreat anymore. 150 damage, we can smack. 80 damage with... That's actually only 60 damage. That's still enough though. Charging up. But he can't snipe with that. Do we sacrifice a prize card? I will never ever allow that, so we will retreat. Do we retreat? We only need Custom Catcher to win the game, we might as well stall a little bit. He might snipe even two times in a row. Charging up. Even if he snipes 60 damage, we still survive that hit. We use Shadow Connection. Move all the energies from here to there. This guy also, he might even go... Nah, this deck doesn't run any custom catcher, so... But still, to be safe, let's get it all the way onto the Tyranitar. Okay. Here we go, turning point for 60 damage, and 60 damage should be plenty enough to just close off this game. If he starts to attack again with dark, uh, this guy, he needs to attack with something else. There's still two custom catchers. I wonder if I should have used custom catcher to draw three cards, to draw into a lily and draw my other custom catchers. Before the time is up where, where he is able to use that insane GX move to discard our entire deck. So now he needs to retreat and start to attack with something else. He could attack with his own Nagandel, but then he has to discard two energies. Cynthia for six, he's almost decked out himself. He only has four cards left, so if he can get, survive for four turns, should be awesome. We only need one more prize card. Shadow Connection, he's gonna get them all the way to the Tyranitars. The Nagandels will swallow up some energies, I assume. And if he has 10, we will get the, the yeah, this Gigafold GX co coming around. Oh, all these super scoop ups are uh, successful. Don't like to see that. Don't like to see that at all. He can get everything back. And if we're not uh, quick enough, he will be able to win this game by discarding all of our cards in our deck. We still have 18 left, 4 energies, and we don't see Dark Art Prism Star anywhere, so there's still the threat of that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, that's 5, 8. Okay, next turn he's able to use that insane GX move. 
unless he has the dark right and uh, dark right prism star right now. Okay, greedy crush, and he gets the KO. Hmm. What to do? If he knocks us out, he gets four prize cards. Oh boy, this is just crazy. We need our custom catcher or a lily or whatever. Okay, we get reset stamp, which will not help in this situation. Might as well play it down. Hmm. We need our custom catcher, man. It's such an insane strategy. Next turn, all of our cards get discarded. And the chance of uh, getting custom catcher discarded is way too high. So hopefully we draw into... Yeah, custom catcher number one. Cherish ball. You two. Ah, oh, man, we didn't get our custom catcher. So we might eventually lose here thanks to the GX move of Mega Sableye and Tyranitar. Which is unfortunate. Really unfortunate. We will get decked out. So you see, now you see both win conditions of uh, this kind of build. And uh, the GX move is just so scary. Super scoop up everything heads was just way too much for us to handle. There's nothing we can do at this point. He's definitely gonna destroy us, so we just retreat. And yeah, that's gonna be dead. Greedy crush, 210 damage, and uh, he is gonna be able to use his GX move to <laughs> discard all the cards in our deck. Even though he only he has still has to take five more prize cards, we are in a crazy situation where uh, this attack saves his game. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the video of Dark Box. If you did, be sure to mouse the like button, subscribe for more content, and uh, as we go through this crazy Gigafall GX, he's gonna get a KO and discard all of our cards. Look at this, Gigafall. All the cards. This is also a win condition. Just fantastic show location. Everything that this deck is capable of. Look at this. Okay, and now we lose. That is fantastic. Anyhow, have a fantastic rest of your day. And uh, I'll be seeing you guys with another TCG video soon. Peace out.